Hi, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. Today we're going to go ahead and take a look at your important message that you were meant to find in here at this particular moment and journey in your life path. So we are looking at four separate piles here. Feel free to pause the video and take a look at which card resonates strongly with you at this time to get a better look at the imagery. I will hold up each card and I will leave the timestamps down below. So here is a look at the individual piles that you will go ahead and determine which is calling to you at this particular time. We are going to go ahead and start from the left. We have pile number one, number two, number three, and number four. So we are going to go ahead and start with pile number one. Pile number one. Let's go ahead and take a look at what incoming message or messages you are meant to hear at this particular time. Pile number one. Let's see what message coming through for you that you are meant to hear. Oh, this one too. Actually, these three. This is my intuitive spread. So there's really no specific way or number of cards, just whatever is meant to come out that you're meant to hear for pile number one. Okay, these two. So we are looking at the sun. We have the eight of swords, followed by the eight of wands. Ooh, triple eight. Okay. We have the six of swords, and we have double eight of swords. Pile number one, what I'm seeing here is that. There's a there's some type of hesitation on a particular move that it's like you know you want to make or that you know that's best for you, but there's the fear of the unknown. Some of you you have already been you have made the move and you're not sure what the future is going to hold or the outcome of the move the move that you have chosen to do or the direction that you've chosen to move in. It's interesting because on this particular deck, we, on this card, we see the moon, okay? We see half of the moon and half of the sun. The moon is also a representation of Pisces. So some of you Pisceans may be connected or it could be like another water sign. Um, but this could also be representing your intuition, okay? Your intuition is telling you to do and pursue a particular thing at this time. And you're not sure what is going to come out of that situation, but you do have a strong feeling that it's going to lead to something positive. I do see that there is reassure, like reassurement, um, reassuring like energies that are going to come through to you that's going to give you like double or triple confirmation that some particular path is the right path. There are things that cross our mind and we're just not sure why we feel led to do a certain thing, why we have a gut feeling about doing a particular, um, you know, decision, but intuitively we know it's best. We know what needs to be done. We know where to move forward, but it's some type of fear that I see could be holding you back from continuing on with the decision that you've made or to even um, leave and to make that that move. So I do see pile number one, your challenge here is to trust the process. That's really what's coming, what's, what's coming in here for you. It's like trusting the process. Trust that you will be taken care of. You know, as I said, trust the process. Look at the judgment. Judgment talks um, taps into faith. Judgment also tax uh, tax. <laughs> what am I thinking of tax? Taxes. <laughs> judgment is also tapping into having uh, some sort of like spiritual connection. 
I do see pile number one. Again, I would not be surprised if a lot of you are probably a Pisces that are uh, choosing this message or it could be a water sign. This could also have you connected to like a Pisces in your life. Somehow this message is connected to a Pisces, whether it's your partner, your, your best friend, you know, uh, a mentor figure, maybe you're inspired by someone that happens to be a water sign. But for some reason, like Pisces is like popping up in here. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, we see the Emperor. This is all about standing firm and being rooted. The Ten of Pentacles shows that there is security coming your way. There's some strong foundation that's going to be established. But it's either like you don't believe it's going to come or you don't believe you're deserving or worthy of it. And that is what is blocking or preventing you from moving closer and faster to what you're meant to come across. I do see that, you're, you know, like your life purpose, you're meant to do great things in this life, in this world. You're meant to come across particular people and also inspire and motivate those around you. There's a like a skill or a talent, a gift that you have that helps the masses. It, like what you have to offer, it helps a particular group of people or it helps certain individuals that some of you are not even aware of because you don't see, you know, like you don't see the future. So you're not wanting to pursue more of the future. Does that make sense? Sometimes when you're af afraid, how does that saying go? The treasure that you seek is in the cave that you fear the most. That's what's coming to mind. It's like there's some type of fear that a lot of you are holding on to, whether it's through your negative thinking that you can't help. It could also be influence from other people imposing their negativity, their doubts, their insecurities, their opinions. But being that I'm seeing, you know, triple eights for you pile number one it's showing here that in like internally you know you want to do something there's somewhere here that you're trying to take your life in this direction there's something that you want to create and pursue somewhere that you are just trying to like you know push through but there's why you know why aren't you going there's like so many excuses i see that surround you but i also see these excuses that are tools that could help you. That's what's coming in through here for you. Once you let go of those excuses or the the chat the blockage that you're creating mentally, that's when you're going to start to see things coming together and collectively. Also, if you're not seeing a way here, tap into meditation, tap into, you know, prayer or uh, seeking like a higher source as we see judgment, because I do see that what whatever it is that you feel like you are failing in seeing what you need to do next or what's going to become a situation next, the next path will be shown if you ask for it. The thing is, pile number one, when you ask for it, will you accept it? Okay, will you nurture that sign that appears to you because that's the thing too with the emperor the emperor does things that he knows is necessary even though he may not um f it's all about like discipline right that's what discipline is it's like you don't feel like going to the gym sometimes you don't feel like you know putting down the candy but sometimes that taps into discipline there are certain things that you know you need to do to better your life or your health or your business or your future so here it's like okay when you receive certain confirmations or signs that you're going to be getting from spirit universe god source your angels it's up to you to take it you know apply it apply it and go through with it faithfully know that this process is going to guide you to something that's going to unlock another chapter, another path in your life. Hmm, very interesting. So we are going to go ahead. This is definitely a message that a lot of you needed to hear at this particular time. Now, if there's another card that resonated with you, feel free to click on those because we are going to move on to pile number two. Now, I also encourage you to check out your other horoscope readings. 
your three month reading that I will I'll link down below if you want more in depth messages. Pile number two. All right, pile number two. Let's see what's coming in through for you. Pile number two. Hold on, let me just shuffle this. Pile number two. What does pile number two need to hear at this particular time? Opening up, we have the Knight of Swords coming in swiftly and confidently. Something about decision making, but also some type of action coming in. Let's see. Oh, we have lovers. Okay. Let me pull one more. Pile number two. All right. Something, uh, there's something coming in this message where it's almost like a spontaneous energy. It's like go after the things that you love uh, or go after the thing that you do love, pursue it. Oh my gosh. Look. Okay, hold on. Let me pull. It's like go after it. Um, right now, oh, double lovers, because right now is a really good time. Pile number two, you know what's interesting? We see the, the lovers coming in, right? And I'm also seeing here on this particular deck, I see like these two pillars. So the two lovers, the two pillars, there's something here. If you are single or looking for new love, I do see an opportunity opening up for love or for connection for others you may already be in a happy relationship or not looking for love there's some type of opportunity that you're meant to commit to okay there's some type of commitment that is trying to connect with you and it's going to like this commitment whether you're committing to a new job, a project, you know, a creative idea, whether you commit to a new, you know, home or environment. I see this is something that you want to remain loyal to. Like you're really going to, you're making the decision to go all in to it and for it. And that's the message that I see here is like, if you, it's like, what do you have to lose? at this particular point because I see there's like some type of winning situation something that's going to work out for you so whether this is a new love opportunity you know coming in whether it's you confessing your feelings or someone co confessing their feelings to you it's like hey you know what let's give this a shot let's see where it goes this is also some type of news coming in okay like news or a thought thought idea like rushing in and you're just like okay now with this information that's coming in you're loving this. You're loving the ideas. You're loving the vision that you're getting. It could also be the news that you're, you're, you're receiving. And with this, you're like holding it on dearly and going to apply it in your path. You see yourself going the distance with this. You are ready to take on the challenge and see where it takes you. Because the Page of Wands is all about adventure, new energies, new people, new spark and passion. There's also some type of love and interest. The page of wands, something here, I do see here for you, pile number two, it's going to catch your curiosity and you're going to be, um, you're going to be with this for a while with this source that's coming in, whether again, that source is a new person, a love interest, but again, it could be some type of grand opportunity that piques your interest. Okay this opportunity to move. It's like now you're researching, okay, what are the pros and cons of moving here or living here or this house versus that house? So there's like a rush, something that's coming in. I do see there's like a rush where you're going to start to see the wheel spinning, like your head's thinking, your ideas are coming in. You're wanting to get your life like going and rolling. Like, okay, let's see what's coming out of this. When do I start? When do I begin? 
what's coming in here very, very soon, it, I, I can't help but to think it's like win-win situation. Again, there's something here that's going to, whether it's a new committed relationship or there's some type of commitment coming in, I feel like what you're connecting to, pile number two, you are deciding to apply yourself to this 100%. And you're like, I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to give it my all. But I also see what you connect with, it's going to return the favor and it's going to give you its all as well. Like it's going to, you're going to feel fulfilled like this was a great investment. Like oh, I'm so glad I invested in this energy. I'm so glad I invested in this idea, this job, my my side hustle, my art, this relationship, this friend. I invested in this new home and you know renovated it. There's something here where you're like, it's, it's worth it. It was worth the investment. It was worth the move. So through your connection, okay, because there's some type of attraction that, that's going to happen first to lure you in. Not in a deceiving way, but of course, what's coming in, it's going to appear attractive to you. That offer looks attractive, that person, that job opportunity, that contract, okay, this, this project idea, this vision, this dream. You're like, ooh, it's a very attractive you know, it's piqued your, in, your, your interest. Now that it's kind of hooked you in, you're realizing, hey, this may go somewhere. Because I see that what's really going to keep you on this path, pile number two, is your love for this. And that's why it's going to last a long time. And the, the love that you have People are going to be able to, like, they're going to feel the passion and it's going to only like grow stronger and deeper. So you're, yeah, what's definitely coming in and the message that you hear is like, what you're meant to hear is that what is meant to be for you will find you. Okay. If you look here at the justice, the scale is even just like these pillars are even. And with the lovers seeing eye to eye, something is going to see you where you're exactly where you're at at this particular time in your life it's going to meet you where you're at it's going to work with you it's going to guide you this energy feels very gentle it feels very like nurturing but it's also strong like it's going to make you stronger it's going to give you hope and it's going to motivate you so it's very interesting because you know this is a general timeless reading but a lot of you this could be like the, the next person that you come across this person could be a friend, you know, that you absolutely love. It could be also a mentor. Some of you, it may be a love interest. But for others, I definitely see it's some type of like hobby, uh, job, or some type of skill or art that's really going to swoop you in. And it's almost like it's rescuing you from just when you were about to like quit or take a detour and go a different direction. It, it just, it met you at the right place at the right time. And like, years from now, months from now, you're going to be able to look back and say, you know what? I'm so glad I decided to commit to this thing. I remained loyal to this process. I accepted, uh, this, you know, connection and now look where it's taken me. Look where I've been able to go, who I've been able to, you know, connect with what I've been able to do. Because again, I do see this growing deeper. It's like, it's going very, very deep. Now, if there are other piles that you resonate with and you're interested, I am going to do pile number three next. If you are interested in your horoscope reading, I did do a three-month energy, your three-month um, horoscope energy reading. I'll link below that playlist. But here, let's go ahead and look at pile number three. Pile number three. Let's see what this message is what you're meant to hear pile number three let me shuffle this pile number three okay this these two stop me we have the moon with the five of swords Pile number three, what messages are coming through? What does pile number three need to know? Oh, oh, hold on. That card just flew out the deck. That's why I always like to, uh, it's fun shuffling these because you never know when there's jumpers. I always get jumpers. Hold on, let me grab it. 
so we also have the king of wands let me get one more is there anything else here for uh, here we go oh double so we have the five of cups and let's see the last deck here Three, pile number three. Hmm. Now as I'm starting here with the moon, what I'm showing, what the message that's coming through is something is going to be revealed to you that um, it's like a true side. Something is being exposed that you're like, wow, okay, I thought it was differently, but like the true side or... Um, some type of light is going to be shown where you're seeing what it really is or really what it's about. Oh, interesting. Seven of swords. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Triple fives coming in here. Triple fives, double sevens. I wonder, let me know if that number resonates with you at all. You might start to see those numbers coming in. Fives, five, five, five. You may be seeing sevens as well. Um, but what I'm seeing with the moon and the five of swords, it's like you really don't know something until it's really shown or revealed to you. And pile number three, what I'm seeing here is that some of you are realizing that what you have kind of gazed your eyes on, it's not what it appeared to be. It was like a facade. It was a, a mask. It was, you know, fake. It was something that maybe was l luring you in to not trap you, but to maybe use you in some way or take advantage of you. But it's something that you're, you're seeing through. You're like, okay, I see what this is really about. I see what's really going on here. Now that there's some type of change that you're being exposed to, it's, it's almost like something like morphed or something's going to morph and you're like, whoa, what is this? It's not the original figure that I uh, originally saw and you're seeing something for what it really, really is. Someone that you may be dealing with or it could be a situation, right? It could be a person, it could be a, a situation that you're in, it could be something that you were working on and you're like, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. It, it's changed. It looked really good. I thought it was promising. I thought this is what was going to keep me happy, but you're seeing it's not, it's not it. This is not it. This is not working. Some of you are feeling empty. You know, you're feeling empty. Uh, you're feeling like, it's almost like it's draining is what I'm getting this energy from. It's like it's draining you instead of fulfilling you. And the message that I see coming in here is, Go after, like don't hold on to things thinking that they're going to change when something has been shown to you the true side. If you look at this card here, we see the swords or we see actually this person holding on and it's it's showing here with the, the five of swords and the seven of swords. Okay, like they're taking something back. So pile number three, I see something here like you're taking something back. You're taking back like your your ideas or you're taking back control. You're like, nope, this is my time. This is, you know, this is my life. Um, this is my story. Like you're taking something and you're like, let me, let me get this back because you took it from me. You wasted my time. You wasted my life. You know, like you wasted, um, you're wasting my energy, my skill set, my future. So you're, you're like taking it back here. Or at least that's what we see coming up. It's time to take back what you know is yours. Some of you, it could be like your voice too. You may have not been given an opportunity to speak up or to say something or to be your true self. I do see Paul number three. Maybe you have been, um, not is it raised? I would say like more like your life. It was all about showing like, showing a good face. You know that expression where you had to like save face? You had to show like a, a particular face or version of yourself that you know wasn't really, really true, but you had to show it because 
you didn't want to upset other people or you didn't want the judgment from other people to affect you or your family um, or like your business. That's what I see here. And uh, Paul number three, it's like, it's being like released and revealed. And you're like, I don't care anymore. I'm taking it back. Like I'm taking back who I am, my authentic version. Um, Because some of you thought maybe if you try to stay in a situation or in an environment, maybe it wasn't really what it was and you could change it. Or maybe it wasn't as bad or it wasn't as dark as you thought. Um, some of you, I do see like you really thought you could bring the light to the situation or bring light or make it like a positive, turn like the negative into a positive. But a lot of you are going to see that's not the case. This is not meant for you to dwell in. You're not meant to dwell in like this darkness. Now you've learned experiences and certain, you know, maybe skills and met certain animals and people through the dark, but you're not meant to stay there, metaphorically speaking. And a lot of you are realizing, okay, you know what? I can't help this darkness. I can't help this situation. I can only do what I know, learn what I need to learn but apply it in a different path in another in another space. Hmm. There's something here. I pile number 3 this message is also saying like be careful with who you trust or be careful with people like strangers or acquaintances that what's the word like love bomb you or sweet talk you really really quick it doesn't have to necessarily be like someone you're dating it could even be just like you know maybe you're going to a job interview and the person or maybe you're going to buy something and the salesperson is like very very persistent right it's like they're very charming they know what to say uh they're, they're trying to uh hook you in but don't be afraid to ask questions okay not that everyone has ill intentions but some people I do see here, Paul number three, you may be dealing with someone that is going to try to, again, take advantage or use you for their benefit. So in order to avoid that, make sure you are asking the proper questions so that way you're not surprised or you're not taken off guard. You know, put up a challenge. Don't be afraid to like put up, um, I don't wanna say like put up a fight, but don't be afraid to like set boundaries or um, be alert ask questions. Why is it this? Why, why is this in the contract? What are your expectations? What's the fine print? Okay. It's like you have to like, kind of like take control again. Problem number three is all about like taking control. Do not linger too long in the dark it keeps coming to mind because sometimes just like the dark, when you sit there for a long time, your eyes start to adjust to the dark and you start to see things that aren't really there. You start to see some illusion that may make you believe you want this or that this is best for you or this is what you should do or where you should achieve success or who you should be with when like you already, uh, it's like you already saw something for what it really was, but the longer you sit there, you, you make excuses for it or you try to make it better. Like, oh, it's not that bad. Hmm. As I look at the moon, the king of cups, and the five of cups, also with the seven of cups, some of you, you may be dealing with, uh, some of you are a water sign or you may be dealing with a water sign, but this also taps into like your emotions and your intuition. I do see pile number three, a lot of you emotionally, you may be led to make some type of decision based off of how you feel at that moment, but you really need to go off of how you, um, how your body reacts intuitively, okay? And what I mean by that is, like if you're mad, right? They say don't don't make decisions when you're mad because your emotions, you're you're emotionally like charged. You want to lash out, you want to fight, you want to argue, you want to say hurtful words. But intuitively, it's like ugh, you know you're gonna regret it. You know you should have slept on it. You know you need time to really think about it. So I do see here, pal number three, your message here too is something like give it time, walk away from the situation, so you have time to actually look back at something from a, a bigger perspective. 
Because again, when you're so close to something, you're more inclined to make a move, make a decision right then and there when you should have given yourself separation or time or distance. Something here with the, with the Wheel of Fortune, pile number three, something here is showing like explore, um, like look around. Because again, I, I know I keep going back to the moon, but for for a lot of you, pile number three, you only know what you've been in or what you've uh, what you've been exposed to. But there's something else here that you need to be open to. So the Wheel of Fortune is saying like look around or shop around or like date around or something like be around, like travel around, ask around, apply around, like something like don't feel like you have to commit or settle for something that's just given right in front of you. You can look around those cups. You don't have to accept these cups. And that's kind of like this facade that I see here for pile number three. It's like take control and just because something is given to you doesn't mean you always have to accept it. You know, if someone says, hey, do you want chicken, fish, or beef? You could say, okay, well, do you have salad, right? It's like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, why didn't you ask? It's something like that, like look around, explore around. Um, because I do see there's something more that you're going to gain by you kind of like pivoting around what's been, what's been or what's going to be like trying to be presented in front of you. You know, like these walls or these barriers are in front of you or in trying to prevent you from looking outside, but you're like, no, what's behind that wall, right? Like, what's behind this opportunity? What's past these these two pillars here? It's like, oh no, don't go past there. It's like, well, what's past there? Very interesting, very, um, very interesting message here for pile number three. Again, this may be for my water or I would say like my air signs, um, just because it does tap into like some type of intuitive direction or redirection. So I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of my water air signs connected with that. But we are going to go ahead and take a look at pile number four. Pile number four. Let's see what's coming in here for you. What important message? Pile number four. Let's see what's coming through pile number four. oh this one like is stopping me <laughs> okay pile number four let's see what jumped out we have the world Ooh. we have the ace of pentacles we also have the ten of cups wow what a magical abundant opening Okay. We also have lovers, strength, and six of swords. Let's see, pile number four. What I see, I'm seeing here something about um, like taking a trip or going like relocating that's definitely coming in here for you with the world i see six of swords i also see ten of i mean this whole the first message i see coming in here for pile number four is like be ready um because something is going to present itself where you're going to want to go up and like take it you know you want to go and like do it um like yeah i'll go on this trip or yeah i'm ready to leave i'm ready to move i'm ready to jump in this i'm ready to move in with this person i'm ready to you know go across the country so i i do see something here you're, you're taking flight okay with the wings on the unicorns like you're taking flight but you didn't think this opportunity was going to come because it seemed too good to be true like mythical kind of like this unicorn and you're like whoa how did this happen and something's going to be like given to you something that's going to present itself where you're just like oh my gosh is this really happening Am I really able to move or to um, go here with my family or do this with my partner? Um, proceed with this process. Oh, double lovers. Interesting. Who was that? Was that pile number two that had double lovers as well? Okay, let's see here. Pile 
Pile number four. You know, this is a very interesting and magical message because something, this, <laughs> this is a very special pile. I see that some, there's a, a lot of messages coming in here, but the, the first message, well, I would say the second message I see coming in with like the world connected with the Ace of Pentacles, the strength, and also the lovers. Look out for some, like some type of blessing or gift that you're going to be given. Okay. It's going to appear out of nowhere, but it's going to be like just what you needed at this particular time. And it's going to, it's going to hold a lot of value to you. Now, this blessing or this gift, you know, it's going to be different for many of you. Some of you, it's the gift of, you know, a relationship, a family, the gift of life is going to be a pay raise, a promotion that your perfect ideal job, that promotion, that role for others. This is also the gift of something being extended to you, a job offer, um, a contract, collaboration, keys to the new car. So again, everyone's pentacle is going to look different here for our pile number four, but again, it's something that you are definitely going to benefit from in this particular part in your life. You're like, wow, this is just what I needed to make it complete. Like you're going to love it. It's tailored just for you. Some of you, it could even leave an impact. Okay. This gift may be someone helping you, giving you advice, giving you some type of financial aid. This could be an opportunity of a lifetime that is going to help you take your path in a new direction that you're going to absolutely be thrilled about. I see the page of pentacles coming in with the lover. So it's like another, the page of pentacles represents a gift. Like you are going to be given a gift. You're going to be given a, uh, some type of surprise, a chance to connect with something. And for those that are single, it looks like a love relationship. Uh, for those that are in a relationship, it may be your, your, your partner is going to be proposing something to you. Like, hey, let's get engaged. Let's get married. Let's start a family. Let's move. Let's move in together. Something like that where you're just like, oh my gosh, this is great. Now, for some of you, you're already in a happy relationship, pile number four. So this is something that like you and your partner can benefit together. Like you are both enjoying the celebrations of something coming in. Like maybe your partner's getting promoted, but it like affects you because you're able to relocate with them. You know, maybe they want to, uh, they have an opportunity to start like a business. They got approved for a loan to get that house, right? It's like, it's affecting you. So it's like their blessing is going to be like your blessing. But I do see like what's coming in here for you, pile number four, it's going to change your life, okay? It's going to change it and it's going to completely be different than what you had expected or planned for. You're like, well, this is, did not go how I expected, but I'm open to be like redirected because you're being like ejected out of your original expectation, but you're also, hmm, okay, you're open to be redirected to something possibly better. It's like you're, you're keeping an open mind to like new possibilities or to new outcomes. And it's like, you're ready. You're ready to take on the challenge. You're ready to take on um, the, the, the change. It's almost like maybe you, you expect it to be at a particular job for a long time. And then your best friend is like, hey, you know what? My company's hiring and they're gonna pay you double. And you're like, oh, okay. Well, I did not expect that. I did not think I was ever gonna leave my job, but I'm open to it. Hey, I love this position that is available. I think it's going to benefit me, my family. And yeah, I'll go for it. You, you know, having the strength, the courage to do it. But it's like, you can't miss, you can't give up this opportunity. It's like, wow, what's there not to like about it? So I do see that coming in here. Okay. Some of you may have expected to move in a house or to buy a home. I see, I see here. It's like you envisioned yourself being secure in a p particular environment or a place it could also be your business, but again, something is going to present itself where you're realizing, okay, you know what? I was trying to buy a house. I was trying to buy a home, but this opportunity came up where I can be like a traveling nurse or I can, um, travel and, you know, work remote in Thailand or something like that. And you're like, Ooh, that actually sounds more appealing. So it's like, I definitely see like this drive where there's relocating or moving. Okay. As I see here with the unicorn, the wings, it's like you are 
pile number four, it's all about like spreading your wings and you're seeing like, wow, when you spread your wings, you allow your world to open up and to expose you to how life can be lived differently or to be experienced in a higher frequency, in a higher way that connects you with things that you love, people that you love, you know, experiences that you, that enrich you. Hmm. Let's see what else. There's some, look out for some type of, again, some type of news. Some news or communication is coming through. I, I feel like this um, information, it's going to come from a source that you're hoping to hear from as well. And when this news comes in, it's going to be, again, like life-changing. You're going to be like, oh, okay, I did not expect that to happen. But, you know, it's going to change the direction of your path. I'm looking at the Ten of Cups and the Six of Swords. There's somewhere here as well, pile number four, that in in your upcoming journey, you're leaving somewhere that is very like choppy. Because I'm looking at these waters here. It's very, very choppy. But where they're moving to, it's like sail smoothing and right smell what is it smooth sailing <laughs> smooth sailing and here look the water is like leading them these are like different decks but the water is leading them here so like by you pushing off and leaving you're you're seeing like that there's a whole new world like a beautiful world you're like wow i'm so glad we left our old hometown or wow is this what happiness really looks like could be you know you're just moving into like a new neighborhood moving to a new country a state uh maybe you're also moving away from something like some type of stress and it could have been affecting the family you your partner the kids but now that the stress has like dissipated and eliminated you're like okay this is this is what life really looks like this is what work-life balance really looks like this is um the the happiness that you want for 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 your future so all in all pile number four this is looking very very um very very beautiful yeah it's almost like a miracle kind of like the unicorn right it's like you have to see it to believe it and for pile number four i definitely see like it's one of those things where you're like wow you have to see it to believe it okay like you're gonna love the double loves okay it's like it may be a person you're like oh my gosh this person is too good to be true but again it's going to be an opportunity it could also be an opportunity that you you love you and your partner or your family uh this could be like a, a a creative opportunity or a personal opportunity where you're just like pinch me this seems too good to be true is this really happening am i really getting the keys did i really just get this job did i really get this contract am i really opening up my own business right like am i really really just traveling around the world <laughs> um because my job offered to pay for my relocation it's something where you're just like oh my goodness this is really happening you're like that's not what i thought was going to happen in my life but i'm not mad <laughs> you know it's like i'm not mad at it if anything, I'm ready to take this on. I'm ready to take this on. Hmm. So I'm curious to know for pile number four, you know, you definitely want to make sure you thumbs up this video so you can come back to this because it saves in your like history. But out of all the piles, pile number four, if you were led to choose this, please come back and let us know how your life you know, has been affected because again, this is a timeless reading, but I do see this happening in the next four to six weeks. Some progress is going to be made. Something is going to be offered to you where you're just like, whoa, it's going to put you on the path of something you're absolutely going to feel connected and like you're going to love. You're going to love. It's not what you originally thought. It's not what you had on your vision board, maybe. It's not who you thought you were going to end up with. It's not where you thought you were going to be, but it's going to be something that you're just like, okay, I can work with this. Like, I like this. It's bigger than what you had imagined. And you're like, okay, give me the strength. Give me the strength to, to go through with this because I know I'm going to need it because you have a big, big journey up ahead. So thank you for tuning in here. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more of these uh, Pick a Card Timeless readings. And until then, stay well and be blessed.